Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. The last time we talked about all things social media and building a brand, I was sharing with you guys how to create a website using Wix. That video was actually sponsored by Wix and today's video is as well. However, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some marketing and SEO tools and I'm gonna be walking you guys through how to utilize those using the Wix website. It's super important to make sure that you're utilizing SEO tools and marketing tools to ensure that you are doing everything that you can to reach an audience or a broader audience and to ensure that you are actively working to build and expand and scale your brand. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this video and I'm gonna walk you guys through the tools that are available to you if you have a Wix website. Do make sure that you check out my previous video first. I'll have it linked up here and down below in the description box so that you can easily access it and that video is a tutorial on how to create a website using Wix. To get started and follow along, just hit the link in the description or you can head on over to wix.com forward slash Shea Budgets Wix. So this is essentially the home screen after you've created your website and I am on the dashboard screen, but I wanna go ahead and navigate down to the marketing and SEO section. So I'm just going to click on marketing and SEO and then that will bring us to the marketing homepage. And so one of the first features on this page is getting found on Google, which is essential. So to get started with that, just go ahead and click the start now button, and then you type in your business name or your site name. I'm gonna type in Shea Budget. I'm gonna go to next. I don't have a physical address, although I do offer services in a local area, in my local area. I'm just gonna go ahead and click no, it's online only and then I'm gonna to go to next. For how to describe your business, I pretty much always do financial services, and it does recommend that you add up to three keyword phrases that clearly describe your business or the services you offer. I also typically do content creator, and I also do money coach, and you do need to just press enter after each one, so it'll move to allowing you to type in the next phrase. After that, you can go ahead and create SEO plan, and on the next screen, it'll basically tell you the things that are good to go and the things that you still need to work on, um, specifically, you know, before connecting to Google. So it's recommending that I add to the homepage's description for search results and of course, connecting to Google. And you do need to go ahead and take care of the checklist before you can connect to Google. SEO stands for search engine optimization. So basically in creating this plan, you are optimizing your SEO and just setting yourself up for success when it comes to being found through search engines. One of the things on my checklist is to update this page and just talk about what my about me page is about. So this is the about me page and I'm under the about me page section and they are suggesting that I update the description or add a description. Another thing that I need to work on on my home page is updating my social links. They are not connected to my social pages, so I'm gonna click go for it. And then it actually tells you exactly what you need to do and even how to do it. So I am going to go to editor. And the cool thing is that this, in my case, and I'm assuming in everyone else's case, opens up in a new tab. So once it's all up and running, you can kind of you know toggle between the two tabs just to make sure that you're taking care of what it is that you need to take care of. And you just have something to reference as you're making the needed changes. So this social bar is actually all well and good, but this one is not. So if you click on this social bar and you go to get social links, which is what it tells me to do, and I click on the link that's showing up, this is not my Facebook, this is the Wix Facebook. So I'm going to copy my Facebook link and then I'm just gonna add it in here. And then I'm going to press done. I don't have a Twitter, I don't have a LinkedIn, I do have an Instagram. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my Instagram as well. And then we will go ahead and add in the YouTube and the Pinterest. So I'm going to put it in this same order. I was just referencing this. So I want it to be Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Currently, it's just Facebook and Instagram. So let's go back to get social links. So let's add an icon. And I liked the black icons. So I'm going to do the black icon for YouTube and the black icon for Pinterest. I'm gonna click add to gallery and then I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna go ahead and grab up that Pinterest icon and then I'm gonna press add to gallery and then I'm gonna go in and add my Pinterest link. 
copy, add link, paste, done. And then I need to add in my YouTube link. Done. And then I'm pretty sure it was Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. So let's press done. Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Print, nope. Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Let's go ahead and add, edit that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save, even though auto save is on. Press done, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to press refresh to see that the changes were made. Yay, good to go. Okay, now let's go ahead and update the booking pages title on search engines. So I'm going to copy this. It actually tells us what to do. They want me to go to pages, booking, SEO, Google, and then paste text under what's the pages title on search results and browser tabs so right here copy this delete it press paste and then we're going to click out of that and then let's go back to the editor and refresh oops we need to save jk let's go ahead and save now let's go back and press refresh Okay, we are good to go there. Let me go ahead and press view all items. And so now it's showing the last two steps. So let's go ahead and press go for it for updating the contact pages title on search engines. Copy. So we need to go to editor, menus and pages, choose page and kind of do the same thing that we just did. So main pages, contact, SEO, Google, and then just double check in that we're doing the same thing. Yep. We're going to come down here. We're going to paste and then we are going to click out of there and save done. And then the last thing is to add the contact pages description for search results. So editor menus and pages, click on that, edit the description. What's the page about? So let's go ahead and do that. I'm already going to just click back over here to editor because that's what it's going to have me to do. And then I need to select SEO Google and I need to update this page and write a description about this page. So at this point, I have made all of the necessary changes except for connecting to Google, which is the last step. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to Google. We are connected and now we can view on Google. And as you can see, we have maximized our SEO and now my website can be viewed on Google. Another tool that you can use is creating an email campaign. So to do that, you click on create a campaign and then it will bring you to this email marketing page where you can promote a workshop or announce a business is open share a blog post, announce a restaurant is open. Let's say I want to announce that a business is open. I can use this template or I can search for more templates, but I'm going to use this template. You can also preview it before you use it or decide if you want to use it. And you can also see what it will look like on a mobile phone and a desktop, but I'm going to go ahead and use this template. And this interface looks very similarly to whenever we were creating the actual website. So you can go in here and you can change the text if you want to, and you can say we're open. And then you can change the picture by clicking change image, and then you can upload media. I already have this picture within my site file. So I'm just going to click that just for demonstration purposes. And then of course you can change this image as well, or you can even delete it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it. I think that picture would look better here. So I'm actually just going to put that picture here. You're able to edit any of the text, delete any of the text, add in photos and do whatever it is that you need to do to make the email, you know, aesthetically pleasing. This is the create section. When you're ready to add your recipients, just click add recipients. And then I don't have an email list, although I do have a few different emails listed on here. So if I wanted to 
send this to the people listed in my current email list. I would select all of my contacts or the contacts that I would like to send the email to, and then I would go to publish and send. You also have the option of scheduling as well. And that is how you take advantage of the email campaigns. And this is now going to be a draft here in my email campaign section because I did not send it or publish it, nor did I schedule it. Another tool that is available is setting up automated emails. So you can send thank you emails to visitors that submit a form, send welcome emails to new site members, email customers one week before their quote expires, and there's also some more automations that you can explore as well. And they're listed under different categories. Stay in touch with clients, build customer relationships, engage your members, keep customers in the loop with custom reminders, follow up with invoices and quotes, and work smarter with tasks and reminders. So depending on what it is that you're trying to accomplish and what you're trying to do, you know, you can go to the respective section and set up an automation, such as if you wanna build customer relationships, then you can send a thank you email to visitors after they submit a form. And of course, this would be an automation. So it would automatically send to them. So let's say you want to send a thank you email. You first have to select a trigger. And this is just basically what's going to trigger the automatic response or the automated response. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave this on Wix forms, select which form triggers the automation. And I'm just going to do any form on the website. Then you need to select an action. Here's where it prompts you to edit the template. They already have a template for you, but if you don't really care for that, or you want to add something or subtract it, then you can edit the template. And then you can also select the timing. So if you want it to send immediately after the trigger, then you can just leave it on immediately, or you can set a custom time. So it can be one days after the trigger, one hour after the trigger, whatever it is that you want to do. And you can also limit the frequency. And then the last step would be to activate. This is probably my favorite part because I just am not really that great with graphics just in general, but this section actually has a bunch of templates that you can explore if you wanna share a post on social or just create some type of nice graphic for social. You can explore these templates and just see if any of these speak to you and then you can just go in and edit the template. This particular design actually has a number of templates that you can choose from. And they all say essentially what's on your mind. It's just kind of whichever one speaks to you most or that you find more aesthetically pleasing. And being a video content creator, I really like this section as well. I'm not the greatest with creating graphics and being all super tech savvy. So anything that will make my life easier, I can appreciate. So if you wanna create a promotional video, you can explore the templates for that. And now we're inside the video maker tool and then you can just select which one makes the most sense for you. Let's say you wanna promote your business, then maybe you want to use this one and then you can edit the template. To edit it, you would select custom customized video and then you can edit the content by adding in your own text, your opening text, your second text, your third text, your closing text. You can edit the design. So let's go ahead and add in our own photo. And then we can move that to being number one. So that will be the first thing that you see. After editing the content, we would move into design. I would say the horizontal layout would work best for let's say YouTube if you're creating a promo video for YouTube, but for Instagram, um, especially a static post, the square would be best and then vertical would be appropriate for any kind of story like an Instagram story. Next, it allows you to add in some music. So let's just listen to this one. I feel like that one does sound pretty promotional. So you can have the music on or you can turn it off. And then finally, there is a business info where you can put in your business information. So we can add that to the video. You can add in a picture here or whatever your logo is, add in your business name, web address, business tagline, phone number, or any other additional info. And if you click this, then it will show at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and apply and preview. And finally, at the bottom here, it's just a category or a section for all of the different marketing tools. We already explored some of them, such as getting found on Google, email marketing, automations, social posts, video maker, but there's also a section for marketing integrations, and there's a logo maker, a tool for creating business cards, and then also a tool for creating coupons. I do wanna take you guys inside this section, which is for SEO tools. Again, we already explored getting found on Google, but they do have some information regarding sitemap 
apps, robots.txt file editor, SEO patterns, site verification, and a URL redirect manager. And if you really want to take things to the next level, you can also hire an SEO professional. And just as a recap, everything that we talked about on this page and that we went through can be found over here and it's all categorized into sections for you. So this is marketing home, the SEO section, all things related to marketing, branding, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, you guys, so that is it for this video. Another shout out to Wix for sponsoring today's video. Again, make sure that you're checking out my previous video and make sure that you use my link, which will be in the description box and in the pinned comment so that you can get started with building a website of your own. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.